Hello and welcome back to the channel, glad to have you here. In today's video we're going to talk about the four different creams that you need to have for your herbal first aid kit. I have one at home, a large one, and I have one in the car with me to take whenever I'm on the go and I also use it for both myself and my kids and these are really really handy when it comes to helping to heal um, the little you know, accidents, little trips here and there that we usually have and it's really important to focus on natural ingredients when it comes to that. Now don't worry about the kind of affordability, I understand these things when um, you buy them from the uh, herbal store can be quite expensive but don't worry I've got you and it's really easy to make these and prepare them ahead of time um, uh, at home using simple ingredients which you'll find the recipes for them in the description box below. So um, these are the four creams that I use and I have them both in travel size and in the larger size at home. So first of all I've used chickweed cream. Chickweed cream can be easily done by using simple ingredients um, such as beeswax, uh, such as chickweed herb and also oil as well. So I won't get into how to make it at home because that's for another video and I'll simplify that uh, for you ahead of time by putting the links in the description box below so you can go ahead and check how to do each one and prepare them ahead of time. So chickweed cream is really important. You can buy, also buy it at the store. It's valuable and it needs to be in your first aid. Okay, why? Because it draws stubborn splinters, it helps with boils and it helps with uh, reducing the pain associated with insect stings and bites. And it's also being used for burns and scalds because chickweed as a herb is very anti-inflammatory, it's antifungal, it's antiseptic alongside with uh, the um, other ingredients that you will do use to make the chickweed cream. All these ingredients will help your body to heal. Apart from that, we've got comfrey ointment. I love comfrey. You've got to be a little bit careful with comfrey because it does have some contradictions. So if you're not feeling quite um, pro and safe at this uh, time to make your own, then I highly recommend you look for a comfrey ointment that's natural uh, in the Holistic Herbal Store. So the comfrey ointment, why do I use it? Because it's basically one of the best things that you could use, that I use personally, that helps in speeding healing of wounds. And I've tried that firsthand as well. It's really helpful because scientifically it's actually been known through the research to encourage cell growth. And you can only um, use it on the clean cut bearing them in mind only on the clean cuts because it rapidly helps in healing the skin um, and that way you need to make sure that the uh, uh, the uh, sores the ones that you use it for are uh, clean are disinfected uh, and also we have the third cream that I highly recommend is a more gentle cream it's made from calendula which is also known as a marigold now if you've watched my marigold series by now the calendula I've made a couple of videos talking about the wonders of calendula in different kinds of forms uh, calendula is very healing for the body it's antibiotic it's antifungal it's useful for all kinds of cuts and grazes and eczema and uh, skin irritations as well so you can make your uh, own calendula cream simply by using the three main ingredients that is beeswax uh, a carrier oil and the calendula marigold herb in general so i usually get my herbs in bulk just because i uh, process and use a lot of different herbs for different kinds of things uh, and I get them personally from iHerb I know in Amazon they have uh, big bags of herbs around 400 grams uh, they come in handy and the price is quite affordable as well, as well and you can find them organic so uh, I've talked about chickweed I've talked about comfrey I've talked about marigold and we have the last cream that I use and that I swear by it's Arnica, the good old Arnica. Arnica is amazing for bruises, for sprains, but make sure you do not use Arnica on broken skin because it can actually irritate the skin as well. And Arnica can only be used externally when it comes in a cream format. So these were the top four creams that I highly recommend to include in your herbal first aid kit. We've come towards the end of our video. If you have yet not subscribed, I highly recommend you subscribe. 